been months now since the National Association of Realtors got hit with lawsuits accusing them of inflating commission rates for years. We first brought you the story back in March when the association reached then a $418 million settlement with the plaintiffs. But it's the month of August that we're talking about this evening. Our Feliz Romero has been following this story for us. So Feliz, what's going to happen in about two months from now? Yeah, Trevor Tessa, people who are selling their homes will no longer be required to put down 6% as commission to help sell their house. Now, this is one of the changes brought on by the settlement. Starting in the fall, commission will be agreed upon strictly between the sellers and the buyers. If you have any experience with the housing market, you know it's a long process and it costs a pretty penny. But come August 17th, the way we buy and sell homes will change. The biggest change for buyers is starting August 17th, prior to even touring a home with your realtor, you're going to have to sign an agreement with them. The purpose of that agreement is for more transparency about the process, about how your realtor is being compensated and where that compensation is coming from. Before the settlement, the National Association of Realtors would require sellers to put down 6% as a commission to help sell their home. That 6% is now a thing of the past. Come August, compensation will be negotiated between the seller and the buyer. The most important thing for sellers is the way that your realtor is able to communicate any compensation you're willing to offer to the buyer or the buyer's broker can no longer be communicated through our MLS, our multiple listing service. Morgan Canaday says while it gives more power to the buyers and sellers to negotiate, she's concerned for low income and first time home buyers. I had personally have buyers that have been saving up for years and years to have enough money for their closing costs and their down payment and now they're being told that they might have to come to the table with even more money to compensate their realtor if they want proper representations. She encourages sellers to not draw a line in the sand and offer up some kind of compensation so it doesn't fall solely on the buyers. You might have two offers on the table, one that needs that assistance and one that doesn't, but if the offer that needs that assistance is going to net you as a seller more proceeds at that sale, it still makes sense to consider that offer. Now, back in March, some experts thought this may drive down the price of houses, but Canada says it's too early to tell how this settlement will impact the housing market. Back to you. It gives sellers especially a lot more power. Yeah, it's interesting. We'll follow that when it takes effect in yeah. August. Thank you so much.